these vintage photos will shed light on the past and reveal hidden stories that have been waiting to be told. Anne Margaret's iconic photo on a Triumph motorcycle captures her free-spirited energy and rebellious spirit of the era. This image captures Mary Tyler Moore's confident and joyful spirit, embodying the essence of her iconic character. Back in the 1950s, drive-in restaurants were a popular spot for families and friends to enjoy good food and entertainment, with roller girls delivering burgers and milkshakes right to car windows, leaving everyone happy and satisfied. Marilyn Monroe's iconic photo from 1955, standing over a subway grate in a white dress, has become one of the most famous and recognizable in popular culture, showcasing her beauty and charm. Honor Blackman, the British actress who played Pussy Galore in the 1964 film Goldfinger, was a trailblazer for female empowerment, bringing to life a strong and independent woman who wasn't afraid to stand up to James Bond. The iconic trio of Charlie's Angels, Jacqueline Smith, Cheryl Ladd, and Kate Jackson, are captured in this photo on set for the 1977 episode Angels in Paradise. Once there was a young Bob Seger, growing up in Michigan with a love for music that led him to write and record his own songs from a young age. His early work showcased his signature sound, which earned him recognition in Detroit's local music scene. Eventually, he signed with Capitol Records in 1968 and released his first major label album, Ramblin' Gamblin' Man, marking the beginning of a legendary career. David Coverdale, a staple of the hard rock scene for decades, formed Whitesnake in 1978 and quickly rose to fame with their self-titled album released in 1987, and has consistently pushed himself to create new music throughout his career. During the 1970s, Arnold Schwarzenegger, known for his bodybuilding, impressed two elderly women with his muscular physique on the street. Boy George and Culture Club, a renowned British pop band from the 1980s, were known for their unique sound blending reggae, soul, and post-punk into infectious music, with hits like, Do You Really Want to Hurt Me, and, Karma Chameleon. Cher and Sonny Bono got married in 1965 and went on a honeymoon to Great Britain, exploring London and the countryside. In 1977, Dan Aykroyd and Steve Martin brought their wild and crazy characters to life on Saturday Night Live, where they quickly became fan favorites. Fishing with Andy and Opie on The Andy Griffith Show is a classic piece of Americana that has delighted audiences for decades. Flip Wilson, a comedic genius and an iconic figure in the 1970s, became one of the most beloved characters on television with his signature catchphrase, What you see is what you get.
James Taylor released his self-titled debut album in 1969, introducing a new generation of music fans to his unique blend of folk and country. In 1978, Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings, Jesse Coulter, June Carter, and Ray Charles posed for a promotional portrait to promote Johnny Cash's television special. During the 1980s, Kim Basinger rose to stardom with her breakout role in the romantic comedy My Stepmother is an Alien and as Bond girl Domino Pitachi in Never Say Never Again. Candy's shoes were a must-have fashion item in the late 70s and 80s, with their thick soles and bright colors like pink, blue, green, and yellow, making them a symbol of cool for kids everywhere. It was 1974, and the cast of Mel Brooks' classic comedy Young Frankenstein was taking a break from filming. The iconic group included comedic legends such as Peter Boyle, Terry Garr, Gene Wilder, and Cloris Leachman, who had all come together to create one of the most beloved comedies of all time. Michael Douglas stars in the 1984 American romantic comedy adventure film, Romancing the Stone, playing Jack T. Colton, a down-on-his-luck adventurer hired by romance novelist Joan Wilder, Kathleen Turner, to find an ancient treasure. During the filming of Charlie's Angels in 1978, CIA Cheryl Ladd's beauty and charisma shone as she charmed her way through each scene with grace and poise. Already an established icon, Cheryl's infectious energy and dazzling smile made her portrayal of Chris Monroe unforgettable. Pam Dauber and Robin Williams were a comedic dream team in the classic television show Mork and Mindy, 1978-1982. Their chemistry was electric as they navigated life together with humor and heart. Ray Walston, known for his role as Uncle Martin O'Hara in the classic American television sitcom My Favorite Martian, won two Emmy Awards for his iconic performance. His chemistry with co-star Bill Bixby was unparalleled, making him one of the most beloved characters in TV history. The Red Hot Chili Peppers have been making music since 1989, and their unique blend of funk rock has earned them legions of fans worldwide. The 1984 MTV Video Music Awards After Party was a star-studded affair, with Robert Downey Jr. and Anthony Michael Hall mingling, and David Lee Roth and Sonia Braga getting cozy on the dance floor. In 1985, Sam Elliott was the epitome of cool with his rugged good looks, cowboy hat, and signature mustache, embodying an effortless style that's still admired today. During the filming of Dr. No, 1962, Sean Connery delighted a young fan by signing a coconut for her, leaving a lasting impression. Sharon Tate and David McCallum starred together in the 1965 classic, The Man from UNCLE, bringing a unique energy to the film.
Shelley Long's portrayal of Diane Chambers on Cheers in 1982 earned her an Emmy Award and made her one of the most beloved characters in television history. Sophia Loren's performance in the 1960 romantic comedy It Started in Naples is one of her most memorable roles, capturing the beauty of Naples, its culture, and its people. In 1954, a young Italian beauty named Sophia Loren made her debut as Miss Welder in an Italian film and quickly became a sensation, capturing the hearts of audiences worldwide. Throughout her career, she has become one of Hollywood's most iconic stars, winning numerous awards for her performances, including an Oscar for Best Actress. The 1983 horror parody film House of the Long Shadows is a classic in its genre, and it's no wonder why, featuring an incredible cast of iconic horror stars including Vincent Price, Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing, and John Carradine, who bring to life this hilarious and spooky tale that pays homage to their illustrious careers in the horror genre. Gilda Radner, a beloved entertainer of the 20th century, found success on the first season of Saturday Night Live, creating iconic characters like Roseanne Rosanna Dana and Emily Litella. The original Saturday Night Live cast of the 1970s was a revolutionary group of comedians that changed the face of comedy forever, led by the iconic Chevy Chase, Dan Aykroyd, John Belushi, Jane Curtin, Garrett Morris, Lorraine Newman, and Gilda Radner, creating some of the most memorable sketches ever seen on television. The 1970s were a time of freedom and exploration, with many young people taking to the open roads in their cars, equipped with a must-have item for these road trips, an 8-track player. These players allowed drivers to listen to music on tapes that could be changed quickly and easily, giving them access to all their favorite songs while they drove, evoking nostalgia even now when we hear it. Mickey Rooney, known for his acting career, also had a passion for cooking and opened a family restaurant called Potato Fantasy in North Hollywood, featuring classic American dishes and some of his own creations. During the early 1980s, Gia Karangi was a well-known figure in the fashion industry, gracing magazine covers worldwide and inspiring other models to follow in her footsteps. Her influence on fashion is still evident today. Green Acres, a spin-off of the popular 1950s radio program Granby's Green Acres, featured the misadventures of city slicker Oliver Wendell Douglas and his glamorous wife Lisa as they try to make a go of running a farm in rural Hooterville. During the 1970s, Hearts N and Nancy Wilson were a dominant force in the music industry, rocking out stadiums with their powerful vocals and unique sound that blended hard rock, folk, and blues. They were pioneers for female musicians in mainstream rock. Iggy and the Stooges, formed in 1973, quickly became a sensation with their raw energy and punk rock sound, releasing their debut album, Raw Power, to critical acclaim. In 1979, British daredevil Eddie Kidd jumped 80 feet over the abandoned River Chelmer Railway for the film Riding High.
Jack Nicholson and Faye Dunaway are known for their iconic roles in the 1974 classic film, Chinatown, which follows a private investigator unraveling corruption in 1930s Los Angeles. Michael J. Fox's portrayal of Marty McFly in the 1985 classic, Back to the Future, has solidified his place as one of the most beloved characters in history. Raquel Welch's iconic image in the promotional photo for her 1966 film, One Million Years BC, is an enduring reminder of a bygone era in Hollywood glamour and style. Richard Pryor was a revolutionary figure in the early 1960s, with his unique brand of comedy drawing on stories from his childhood and becoming one of the most sought-after comedians of the era. In 1975, the iconic shock rocker Alice Cooper posed with his beloved pooch at home in Los Angeles, capturing a moment of domestic bliss for the singer-songwriter just beginning to make waves in the music industry, embodying the spirit of the 70s. Back in 1968, Keith Moon, the legendary drummer of The Who and Notorious Wild Man, was caught in a mischievous moment when he threw a champagne bottle at his wife, but missed and it got stuck in the wall. He then framed the bottle with a picture frame, creating an iconic image that has become synonymous with the spirit of rock and roll. Bob Dylan performed in a cotton field in Greenwood, Mississippi as part of a civil rights voter registration rally. The photo captured here shows Dylan jamming out on the back porch of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee SNCC, office. This 1972 photo captures the wild spirit of Ozzy Osbourne and his band Black Sabbath, pioneers of heavy metal music with their gritty and intense sound. This photo captures the bold fashion and big hair of the 80s, where voluminous hair was a statement and achieving the look required dedication and products like Aquanet hairspray. The era was all about going big, whether in the hair department or with fashion choices. Imagine the conversations happening between Mick Jagger, Peter Tosh, and who knows who else was in the room at this iconic moment captured in 1978. The first night game in Major League Baseball MLB, was played in Cincinnati, Ohio, on May 24, 1935. Both John Belushi and Gilda Radner, who were both alumni of Lemmings, were well known for their comedic talents on Saturday Night Live, with Belushi's Joe Cocker impression and Radner's Roseanne Rosiana Dana character becoming fan favorites. Rodney Dangerfield is seen here with Elvis Presley in Las Vegas, where Dangerfield became a headliner after his big break on The Ed Sullivan Show in 1967. Elvis, who had just made his comeback special, was also a big fan of comedy and praised Andy Kaufman for his impression of the king. The 1960s were a time when the societal expectations of women were vastly different from today, often limited to being a housewife, but also a time when the women's liberation movement took root, calling for equal rights for women.
Bruce Lee, the king of Golden Harvest Cinema, starred in some of the greatest martial arts films of all time and famously battled 7 feet 2 inches basketball star Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in The Game of Death. Born in San Francisco's Chinatown to immigrant parents from Hong Kong, Lee's influence on cinema cannot be overstated, he was the first major Asian actor to star in leading roles in America, changing the face of the industry forever. In this iconic photo, we see Andre the Giant, Will Chamberlain, and Arnold Schwarzenegger on the set of the classic 1984 movie, Conan the Destroyer, showcasing their larger-than-life physiques. <laughs>